Brian, how are you? I am well. Every time, every time I see you, I have a problem, unfortunately. So I am glad you're around. You're a problem solver, especially when it comes <laughs> to AV problems. So uh, tell us how you ended up getting here to Hardin Simmons. Um, I worked, uh, of course, graduated from Abilene High. I worked uh, at the First State Bank for seven years and got to know some of the people here. And, and when they were ready to move on and move up, then they recommended me to come here and work. So I've been doing data, data processing uh, for many years and as that has all evolved and changed into something different. Mm -hmm. What is it you love about Hardin Simmons faculty and staff? Because you deal with a lot of faculty and staff. I love the diversity of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, I love the brainiac people that don't have a lick of common sense, uh, and I've learned to come to appreciate all levels of love over the years, and it's just been a real privilege. Well, I'm I'm glad you're here. We're we're fixing to name a space after you. Uh, the tell us what BCDC is. Uh, the BCDC is the Brian Cargill Data Center, named after some uh, <laughs> innocuous some rock group. Uh, uh, it will be uh, a central place on campus to store our data mm -hmm. uh, from all of our different computer systems and also centralize our network and provide a, a secure site to keep, the, keep us up and running 24-7. Your team, and especially Travis Seekins, and the whole campus, everybody loves you. And so that was a fun thing to do is to name that. Um, I'm going to get big even with them. Okay. We can't <laughs> wait to see what happens. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it won't happen too soon. We still got a, we still got a semester to go through. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, if you got to do one thing every day for the rest of your life, what would that one thing be that you would enjoy doing? I think it's just coming up here and being with people. Mm. I work with some of the best people in the world. Uh, like I say, I've had some bad apples over the years, but it uh, turns out that's mostly just my perspective on things. Uh, like I say, this place has given me the opportunity to live and be in little Abilene, Texas, mm. and yet touch parts of the world I never thought I would have contact with because of Arden Simmons. When you were getting into technology and, and getting into your career field, did you ever think we would land with everything on the phone no. and all this access? And no. Crazy, isn't it? It's How do you crazy. keep up with it? Uh, a lot of people and a lot of man hours mm -hmm. and a lot of really smart people. I don't count myself as one of those, mm -hmm. but I do work with some brilliant people that uh, have the ability to process a lot of information. And we just we just try to keep up with technology. Well, if you if you uh, specialize in AV and have done that for a while, favorite TV show? I don't believe I have one anymore. Okay. <laughs> if, uh, favorite TV show? I, at the current time, it's probably Blue Bloods. Uh, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm all about other things in life besides technology. I do not focus on technology. You do it all day. I do it all day. Do it I am I am live with the assurance that there will be no technology in heaven. You've reached the voicemail box of Brian Cargill. Please leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you.